Hi all, welcome to this demo. My name is Anuraj. I am an engineering technologist with Dell. In this demo, we are going to deploy and configure Dell CSM on a Kubernetes cluster and will integrate Dell PowerScale array and Dell PowerFlex array with the Kubernetes cluster. Now we can verify our Kubernetes cluster. This cluster has one control node and three worker node. And there is no CSM or storage class available in this cluster. Now let's look into our PowerScale array. In the PowerScale array, there's two access zones configured. One is the system access zone, which is used for the management purpose. And there is another access zone created, AC01, which is used for the CSM integration. So in the network configuration, we can see there is two different pools configured. One pool for the system access zone and another one for the AC01 access zone. In the system access zone, the zone name is ps01.pdi.extreme.io which is used for the management integration. And in the access zone AC01, the zone name is ac01.vdi.extreme.io which is used for the data access. And in the protocol, we can see there is no NFS exports created. Now we will create a secret for the PowerScale array configuration. For that purpose, I already created a config YAML file with the PowerScale array configuration. Then using that config file, we can generate a secret using the kubectl command. So now we can verify the secret here. And I'm using the self-signed certificate for the PowerScale array. So I'll create a empty secret for the certificate. Next, we'll create a namespace for installing the CSM for PowerScale. Then we'll create the PowerScale configuration secret into the namespace. Also, we'll configure the PowerScale certificate into this namespace and verify the secrets. We can deploy the Dell CSM using the CSM operator or by using the Helm chart. So in this demo, I'm going to deploy the Dell CSM using the Helm chart. So in order to deploy using Helm chart, we need to create a value file with the required configuration. So now Dell provides a web interface to generate this value file. So let's go to the Dell CSM website. From the CSM website, in the deployment option, we can get the CSM installation wizard. In the wizard, Select the helm as the installation type, power scale as the array, and I'll keep everything as default and only change the volume name prefix to my Kubernetes cluster name. Now generate the value file. Save this value file and I'll copy this value file into my management machine. This website also provides the required comments to complete the installation of the Dell CSM. So I'll copy those comments also. Now we can paste our installation comments here. So our installation got successful. Let's verify the Helm installation status. And we can see the status as deployed. So let's verify all the required Kubernetes objects are created. And now we can see all of our pods are in running state. Now we can create the storage class for provisioning the volumes from the PowerScale array. So I already created the YAML file for creating the storage class. So let's verify this YAML file. So we are creating a storage class by the name of PS01 and it's using the access zone az01. So let's apply this YAML file to create the storage class. And now we can see the storage class got successfully created. We can create a deployment to consume the storage from the power scale array. So for creating a deployment, I already created a YAML file. So let's verify this YAML file. So we're creating a PVC by the name pvc scale and using the storage class ps01 and we can see it's getting mounted into the pod in the mount path slash data. So let's apply this YAML file to create the deployment. The deployment got created successfully. We can verify the status of the PVC. So now we can see the PVC in a bound state and the PV got created successfully and using the storage class PS01. So we can wait for some time for the pods to be in running state. As the PVC we created is a RWX PVC, which can be mounted into multiple ports at the same time we are running two replica in the deployment. And now we can see our ports are in running state. Also verify the NFS export in the PowerScale console. So we can see the NFS export is created here. Now we successfully integrated the PowerScale array into the Kubernetes cluster. Next we can proceed to integrate the PowerFlex array into the same Kubernetes cluster. Let's verify our PowerFlex array. So we can see a storage pool SP01 is created 
and there is no volumes created nor any STC got connected into this PowerFlex. So the PowerFlex configuration file is already created. So let's verify this PowerFlex configuration file. And now we can use the kubectl command to generate the secret from this configuration file. The PowerFlex gateway server is not using a self-signed certificate and the certificate is issued by an enterprise CA. And in the configuration file, we can see that we are not skipping the certificate verification. So we will create a secret with the root certificate in it. So we can use the kubectl command to generate the secret. Now we'll verify the secret files we generated. Next, we will create a namespace for deploying this ESM for PowerFlex. Then we'll create the PowerFlex configuration secret into this namespace. Also, we'll create the PowerFlex root certificate secret also into this namespace. Let's verify the secrets got created successfully. So we will deploy the CSM for PowerFlex also using the Helm chart. So similarly, we'll go to the Dell CSM website to generate the value file. In the CSM installation wizard, select the installation type as Helm and the array as PowerFlex. And for this demo, I'll keep everything in default settings and I'll change only the volume prefix to my Kubernetes cluster name, that's kts01. Generate the YAML file and save this YAML file into the management machine. Also, copy the command required to deploy the CSM. Now we can paste the installation commands. So now we can see the Helm installation is successful and the status is deployed. So verify the installation status. Also verify the required Kubernetes objects are created and we will wait for the PowerFlex CSM ports to be in running state. So now we can see all of the ports are in running state. So in the PowerFlex now we can see all of the worker node STCs got connected successfully. Now we will create the storage class for this PowerFlex. So the YAML file for creating the storage class is already created. So let's verify this YAML file. So the name of the storage class is pf02 and it's using the storage pool sp01. Apply this YAML file to create the storage class for PowerFlex. And now we can see there is two different storage class in this cluster, one for the PowerFlex and another for the PowerScale. The pf01 is the PowerScale storage class which is using the Isilon provisioner and pf02 is the PowerFlex storage class which is using the PowerFlex provisioner. Now we can deploy a stateful set to use the PV from the PowerFlex. So for that, I already created a YAML file to deploy the stateful set. So let's verify this YAML file. So in the stateful set specification, under the volume claim templates, we can see we are creating a PVC of size 8 GB and using the storage class PF02, that's the PowerFlex storage class. And this PVC is getting mounted into the mount path slash data inside the pod. And so let's apply this specification file to create a stateful set. So let's verify the PVC. And now we can see a PVC for the stateful set is created and it is in bound state and it's using the PowerFlex storage class. Now we can see the pod, the stateful set pod is also in running state. Let's go to the PowerFlex console. Here in the volume, we can see the volume got successfully created and it's mapped to a SDC. So this concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.